All right, here we go. Hey kids, today we are cupping something so exciting. We have not had coffee from Bolivia for over 10 years. Cooperativa Agricola Cafetelaria San Juan was formed in 1974 with 40 farmer members across Carnavi united to support small family farms and organic chemical free methods. By the mid 2000s, Bolivia was hosting the annual Cup of Excellence competition. There was a high level of international development interest in the youngest coffee sector, of which Carnavi is the center. However, cooperative members' productivity declined tremendously from 2006 to 2017 due to aging trees and failing investments. That year, Felix Chambi Garcia joined the organization, bringing over 16 years of specialty coffee cupping experience as a member of various other Bolivian cooperatives. Since then, the co-op's total production, quality, and diversity of coffees have increased significantly. Felix sees himself as part of Bolivia's younger, renewed generation of coffee lovers, including baristas and roasters who are fortunate enough to be in a coffee-producing country with high potential. However, you know, there's so much more ground to cover. Cooperativa San Juan relies on individual farmers to process their own coffee. Felix made quality control central to the co-op's operations and his labs in Alto Cochabamba serves as the central control point for all exportation. Parchment lots that don't meet the quality requirements are sold domestically rather than abroad. You can imagine what a huge incentive this is for quality control on the farm. So Bolivia is South America's only landlocked coffee producing country and is the smallest exporter of coffee on the continent. Nevertheless, biodiversity, soil health, elevation, and progressive leadership all works in favor of small farmers seeking sustainable livelihoods with coffee. Bolivia's terrain and geography is gifted for Arabica production, particularly throughout the greater Yungas region, whose mountain ranges connect the low and humid Amazonian basin to the dry Andean Altiplano above. The most productive municipality in the Yungas is Caravani, where 85 to 90% of Bolivia's specialty coffee has continued to thrive over decades. Carnavi's landscape is steep, cloudy, rugged, and remote, with natural forests making up more than 90% of the territory. Coffee farms in this high tropical climate tend to be well managed but small and challenged by isolation. In addition, Bolivia's growers still often don't have processing equipment or transportation of their own, a massive hurdle in territory like this. In addition, every Bolivian coffee faces one of the most strenuous overland journeys in the coffee world, passing elevations of 4,000 meters over the top of the Andes before traveling west to the port of Aricha on Chile's coast. These formidable logistical challenges mean each successful arrival of specialty coffee from Bolivia, something to be cherished. Let's go drink some. And now we get to cup coffee from Cooperativa San Juan. This is a fabulous accomplishment, a huge surprise after 10 years. The, the aroma is oaky. It's got a clean wheat bread smell. It's quite sweet. There's a little orange, a little citrus. The cup is smooth and velvety. There's a cordial cherry biting the chocolate, biting through the chocolate and hitting coffee cherry inside is very sweet. And the finish is lingering with milk chocolate and hot cocoa. I'm so pleased to be able to share this. Bringing this coffee to market requires crossing the Andes 
If you Google the road of death, you will see stories about the 500 people a year or so who lose their lives trying to negotiate the tight turns in the fog and the rain on this one lane road that is used to get in and out of Bolivia. Mwah! I love you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great cup of coffee and I will see you again next week.